Good morning, Pastor Ray here with the Daily Bread. God is good. Amen. I believe in God for good things, and I hope uh, uh, you're seeing the blessing of God in your life. Amen. If uh, you need any prayer, you just let us know, and we'll believe God for you. Amen. Continuing in the book of Acts, we are in chapter 3. We're going to be reading verses 11 through 16 today. And today, let's talk about faith in His name. Amen. As we learn from uh, Peter's preaching. Let's take a look at it. Remember the lame man was healed yesterday and so it's continuing in that same story. It says this, Now as the lame man who was healed held on to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the porch which is called Solomon's, greatly amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, Men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why do you look so intently at us? As though by our own power or godliness we made this man walk. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate, whom he was determined to let him go. But you denied the Holy One and the just, and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God raised from the dead, of which we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. All right, so first thing, let's consider Peter. What are you doing, Peter? Man, something has changed in Peter, hasn't it? This is Peter. This is the same one who ran and denied Jesus three times, the same one who, when he was confronted by a, a girl, started to cuss and curse, saying he didn't know Jesus, but now that he's in the middle of those who killed Jesus, he's standing firm. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. The Holy Spirit filled him. In other words, like, you know, it's, it's kind of hard for us to understand that, but think of it like this. The Holy Spirit is in control. The Holy Spirit, can, can God have control of your life through the Holy Spirit? And so he gets up and he preaches again and he's preaching, he's bold and he's the same man, he's unafraid, unashamed. It's one of the characteristics that the Holy Spirit brings, unembarrassed, unashamed to glorify Jesus. Why? Because it's the name of Jesus that people can come and get saved. And so we're unashamed, unafraid to lift up Jesus. And so you see here in this text that the man is healed. And so they're looking at Peter and John as if, you know, they're the ones. And immediately, Peter and John, they deflect it. And, you know, you think us? You think about our godliness, about our holiness? That, that there's some, what people think is there's some method, right? Like that you're going to get to a certain place in your life of perfection or holiness. And then all of a sudden, the power is going to start to flow. Like, yeah, it doesn't work that way. Because then that, that because then that throws out the need for faith, right? If we can know how to do it, then we don't have to believe. And so, no, God is always interested in us having faith to believe. And so he, they said, you know, by us? Not by us, no. It's not us. We're not doing this. This man is healed, not because of us. And, and, and not because of what we are. Yes, God is working in us. Yes, God has filled us. But he, he, he always deflects, and the Holy Spirit is working through him to give the credit and the glory to Jesus. Amen? Remember that lesson? Always, the Holy Spirit does that, deflects and gives credit and glory to Jesus. Always. And so he, he preaches, he talks about Jesus being crucified, it's because of Jesus. And then he says, Jesus is risen from the dead, and he says these wonderful words, it's not by that, but by faith in his name. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus when there is faith attached to it right because the name of Jesus does two things one is it can excite faith in us and help us to believe or it does the complete opposite and it can make us feel doubtful some people hear the name of Jesus and they're filled with unbelief so much unbelief that you know what that God can't move others when they hear the name of Jesus it's like yes God speak it Yes, yes, the Holy Spirit, Jesus. Oh, the name of Jesus, right? We could talk about any other name. We start talking about Jesus and things begin to change. 
things begin to change. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11, it says these words. Therefore God also has highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, and those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Jesus Christ, the name above all names. There is no other name like Jesus. It's all about Jesus and glorifying Him, the Holy Spirit working in power. Why? To give glory to Jesus. Not to make us special, to make us anything, but when the Holy Spirit comes, it's always to point people to Jesus. Power is released to point people to Jesus. The gifts of the Spirit are given to point people to Jesus. The fruit of the Spirit is given to point people to Jesus. The Holy Ghost working in power and signs and wonders is to give the glory to Jesus. And then he says, by faith. And then he says, faith that comes through him. I didn't want to leave that out because there is actually, one of the gifts is a special faith. Because there's faith like we can believe, right? We can believe and we have faith like that. But oh boy, there's faith that can move mountains. And, and there's a gift of faith like that from the Holy Spirit. And there's people like that. They just... They have an extraordinary amount of faith. And it's like, yes, I want to get around that. This faith. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Let's uh, look at that. To another, the gift of faith by the same Spirit. Faith. Faith. We always come back to faith, don't we? And faith in His name faith in who he is and who he says he is. The Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And by faith in his name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. It's all about Jesus. The Holy Spirit always glorifies the name of Jesus. All the miracles, all the blessings, everything that you experience in your life when God helps you, it's so that you can give glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Jesus wants to set you free. Amen. How about some faith today? How about believing? Maybe you should pray in the name of Jesus. God, help me today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's ask God today for help in our lives. And let's glorify Him. In Jesus' name, amen.